attention all cars in District 15. Go to 6th Main Street's armored car held up. Surround area and search for three men who made their getaway on foot. Use caution. They are heavily armed. <laughs> chair. Uh, the hot seat. They can't fry me for nothing. Be hey, brave, kid. It'll be over in a minute. And we'll see that you get a nice send-off. Shut up. That's a lie detector. Oh, not oh, that. No, oh, that's no, one thing. Here. here, hold that. If you tell the truth, that pen will travel in a straight line. But if you tell a lie, we'll know it. Have you ever been to jail before? Why, of course not. Mm -hmm. That's a lie. Just as I thought. Have you any visible means of support? Sure. I got suspenders. <laughs> so you have. Oh! I mean, if you guys got a job. Why, certainly, Captain. We work in the, uh, at the Eli Cafe on Main Street. Check on that, Jackson. Yes, sir. Oh, 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 oh. Hold that. Now then, I got a couple of questions I want to ask you. Me? Yes, and so have I. Did you or did you not take that quarter out of my shoe last night? On my animal, I didn't do it. <laughs> oh, whoa. oh, a chisel, eh? Hey. That, that's Fire. enough. Break it up. Now then, what were you doing at 11 o'clock last night? I don't know. What were you doing at 11 o'clock? Uh, I was at a lodge meeting. <laughs> that last question seems to have broken the machine, Captain. What's that? We didn't do it, Captain. You're wasting our time. <coughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Come back here. Gee, it was swell of you to tell the cops we worked here, Miss Harmon. Yeah, if it wasn't for you, we'd be set up for life. You sure got us out of a jam. Oh, that's all right, boys. I'm sort of in a jam myself. Yeah? What's the trouble? Oh, trying to make a go of this restaurant. I can't afford any help. And most of my customers sign their checks instead of paying. You mean they sign all these? Why, the dirty chiselers? Who are they? Larry Fine, Larry Fine, Larry... Why, you nitwit? You've got a lot of crust you have. I wonder whose this is. Shemp Howard, Shemp Howard, Shemp... What's the matter with you? Yeah, I'm coming right back. Hey, this guy must have had a tape worm. Yeah. Mo Howard, Mo Howard, Mo... What are you guys looking at? Get out of here. Miss Harmon, you got yourself three new helpers. Yeah, and for free, too. Oh, boys, I couldn't let you do anything like oh, that. Oh, forget it. Spread out. You go into the kitchen. You get behind that counter. Oh, really, you should. That's all right, Miss Harmon. They're going to go to work and like it. And if it's absolutely necessary, I'll go to work, too. We're out of almost everything. Then you run along to the market and stock up. <gasps> We're in business. Well, it be, sir. I'll take the short ribs. I think we got some delicious chicken soup. Just short ribs. I know, but you haven't tried our chicken soup. I know, because I had to... Short ribs. Short ribs. Chicken soup coming up. One chicken soup coming up. Mm. Nice fresh chicken, too.
wonder where the egg cutters are. Oh. about you. Yeah, I'm thinking about you right now. And it could be murder. Now, don't get excited, Cap. Yeah, sit right down and have something on the house. Yeah, yeah, have something on the house. Right back here. Sit down. Out of the draft. Now, how about some nice victuals? Chicken soup? Cereals? Here you are, Captain. Nice cup of hot java. What's on your mind? Did you ever see that guy before? Hey, that's one of the guys who was in on the car robbery. Yeah, I'd know him anywhere. I had a hunch it was a lefty Lomas job. Thanks for the tip, boys. Oh, anything to accommodate the police department. Say, Cap, don't let your coffee get cold. I'll get you a piece of pie. This is on the house. Thanks. Oh, you like it, eh? That tastes like paint. Paint? What are you talking about? <laughs> it is paint. That's the coffee. This is better. Oh boy, 12 o'clock. See you later, fellas. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Out oh, to lunch. A wise guy, huh? <coughs> Listen, if the customers can stand to eat your cook and soak on you, sit down. Boys! Boys, some wonderful news. Yeah, what is it? A letter from the lawyer who is handling my father's estate. Someone wants to buy our old homestead in the country for a thousand dollars. Did you say one thousand dollars? Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. Now I can pay all my bills. i better call Mr. Scott right away. Can't be much of a joint for a thousand bucks. Oh, it must be a rat trap. Yeah, that's what I think. Hey, you think maybe she's being gypped? Yeah, why don't we go out and look the joint over before we let her sell it? I think you got something there. No, you're showing intelligence. Am I? This go on. Oh, boy. Fresh clams. 